Uh, Jermaine Beckford came into the team, scored at the weekend. Mm. Does that show the competition for places you've got up front now? Well, with young Joe Mason going back, it's certainly not. You know, it's, it's something, an area that I think we've got to make sure we improve. It's certainly something that at the beginning of the season, if you're asking me, we want to score enough goals and we want to defend them properly. You know, I always felt we can get enough defending points through to the lads and we've done that. That personnel has not really changed a lot. So it's really up top and, and, and the midfield areas that we've got a real grip of the game and we're scoring goals. So I think it's very, very healthy for the football club to know that we must have goal scores in the building. I think Jermaine only adds to that. And Ryan Hall as well starting. Um, what have you made of his development over the last few months? Yeah, Robert's been very good. Sorry, Robert, yeah. <laughs> All right. Robert's been very good. You know, he's 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 been fantastic young guy to work with. Really, really high intelligent. I think he needs to get more. Uh, his strength and his his strength and his stamina will get there every day training. He just he just needs to sort of maybe make sure when he gets his opportunity, you know, in the games, he, he grasps it a little bit more than he does. Uh, because I feel that he's got the ability to do that in training. He's he's one of the best players in training, week in, week out, you know, and I just feel that it's a difficult decision for me because you don't want to put him in too soon and expose him too early, but you you want to give him enough game time. And if I'm going to hold my hands up, I probably didn't give him as much game time as I should have this year because of certain things that have gone on. But you know, he's certainly a fantastic young player. It's only going to get better. You know, Where else can you see mobile, young, left-footed players and go by people and score a goal? You know, He's, he's only going to get better for the football club. How big a role can a youngster like him play next season? Yeah, huge role for him, I think. I think now he's been here with us a year and he's adapted to the, the, the training conditions and adapted to living uh, up in the Bolton area. And I do strongly believe that he will be huge for his next season in the, in the way he plays. I think he's a crowd pleaser, he's an entertainer and he's, he certainly makes a difference, I felt. You know, he's small, uh, one or two touches on Saturday, you know, was really something that only he can do. So it's... it's It'll be a big season for Robert, a big off-season, how he conducts himself in the off-season and hopefully he can hit the ground running next season. Uh, team news for Saturday? Everybody's fit to go. Mark Davis is the only one I'll leave out. He's full. He's in full training. I just feel with Mark's long-term injury, nine months, I rushed him back because of the situation we were in. You know, he'd played a lot of games for us in a short spell. You know, he felt a little bit fatigued. He had a small groin, uh, tight groin, so I just felt that it's best to leave him. He's been training, but I really want him to get his fitness up, uh, and that's the only bit. That's only news that will be out for us. How are the long-term injury injured players yeah. looking? Jo- Joe Riley's doing very well. He's at the grass running most days, so there's no need to rush Joe back. We felt we thought we felt we we you know we we possibly end of the season, but then looking at it, you know, and a, and a being very open with each other, we just feel that if we can go back in pre-season. And, He'll be a lot stronger for it. And Mark Tierney, he's still, he's still feeling some symptoms of his broken leg you know, in two places. So it's a, it's a real hard one for Mark, that. But again, once again, we won't rush him back. I think over the summer, he'll be in working hard in pre-season. We'll see the both players. And Charlton on Saturday, yeah, what threat yeah, do they pose well, to? Obviously, if they're, in a, they're in a dog fight. They've, they've come with a certain attitude and they won't be lying down. You know, We've seen the game the other night, so we need to make sure that from the very beginning, that we approach the game, you know, in the right manner. Because if you don't, with a high tempo, high fast start, uh, you know, it can be dangerous. But we know if we can stick in for the first 20 minutes, 25 minutes, you know, the crowd will get jittery, and we know that they also the players, a lot of young players in the team, you know, and that the confidence can be dented if we can keep the score line very tight at the beginning of the first 25 minutes.